space no longer seems unreachable for humans. Walking on the moon is arguably one of our most impressive feats. Various researchers have said that in order to carry on, we need to look to the stars and start exploring other planets. Since venturing into space, thousands of images have been taken, some of which show important details of planets, moons and asteroids, and others which are blank. However, within this vast collection are some that have stood out, and this is because those that have looked at them have struggled to explain what they're looking at. One such photograph was shared back in 2015, but not many people know about it. One of the first places to feature the images were various UFO websites, stating that it possibly showed a disc-shaped UFO hovering above the moon's surface. According to UFO researchers, they say the moon is of particular interest to UFOs, and have even gone as far as saying that these UFOs use the far side of the moon. This is the side that doesn't face the Earth, and they do this in order not to be seen by us. NASA and other officials have said these are just theories, and that there's never been any proof to suggest that UFOs are on the moon. But believers use photographs like this to suggest that there's more happening on the moon than what we're being told about. Although many would dispel the notion that intelligent alien life exists elsewhere in our galaxy, there are a number of theorists that not only believe that alien life is here, but that such extraterrestrials have already established vast research bases on our planet, for the sole purpose of studying the human race like a pack of lab mice. Many people falsely believe that sightings of UFOs have only spawned in the modern era, due to science fiction movies and other similar popular culture references in the mainstream. This is far from the truth, as ancient accounts of alien activity and unidentified flying objects exist all throughout history. As of today, not much information can be gathered about this strange object seen hovering above the moon's surface. One person at the time suggested that it's actually an optical illusion, and from our perspective it looks like this object is hovering when it isn't. But others debunked this idea and said you can clearly see that something is there and it's not making contact with the moon. Even astronauts themselves have come forward and told stories of strange objects that they've seen in space. One of the most influential American heroes of the 1950s, as well as the key figure in helping to locate a number of nuclear sites all around the world, was that of Major Gordon Cooper. Gordon Cooper has been a part of a number of top secret missions in space, with several revolving around the use of highly advanced technologies. During one of his many space missions, he claimed to have come into contact with an extraterrestrial craft. During Gordon Cooper's space mission that included a solo journey with a planned 22 orbit trip around the Earth, he claimed to have seen a glowing object that appeared to be bright green slowly approach his spacecraft, and this happened as he viewed it through the porthole. Additionally, the approach of the object was also picked up by the Machia tracking station, which can be found in the town of Machia in Australia, confirming Cooper's encounter. This would lead to the astronaut eventually agreeing to take on a two-day mission, in which he would work to analyse footage and evidence of extraterrestrial visitation of the planet, that would eventually lead him to giving a speech at the United Nations to discuss his findings. During his speech, he described later coming across evidence of extraterrestrial crafts, gathered evidence of anomalous aircrafts as well as stating the following, I saw with my own eyes a defined air of ground being consumed by flames, with four indentations left by flying objects which had descended in the middle of a field. Beings had left the craft. There were other traces to prove this. They seemed to have studied topography. They had collected soil samples, and eventually they returned to where they'd come from, disappearing at enormous speed. End quote. It's estimated that thousands of unidentified flying objects are reported every year, and although it's suspected that a large majority of these can be easily explained, whether that's as natural phenomena, wildlife such as birds, the military, weather balloons or drones, some have said that a few of these UFO reports are hard to explain. But what happens when these strange crafts are photographed on things like the moon and other planets? 
the list of possible explanations suddenly become shorter. Regardless, space agencies have said they've never seen a photograph which has caused them to label it as an unidentified flying object. One interesting story comes from Nikola Tesla, and this happened when he was working with radio equipment. Though his influence in history has been astounding, the small broadcast device we know as the radio has not been around for very long. In fact, its inventor Nikola Tesla did not first conceive of the device until 1885. Despite the young age of the device, it was made apparent that Mr. Tesla was far ahead of his own time when coming up with its invention, being the only inventor of his time to be made aware of the electromagnetic spectrum and the ability to tap into its power and uses. Oddly enough, Tesla wrote extensively in his notes that when he made the first radio capable of receiving and broadcasting a signal, as soon as he turned on the device he could already hear another person's voice on the other side. He would later go on to claim that people transmitting him a signal were those of beings living on the surface of Mars, and that they were attempting to make first contact with him. This was only made more eerie as Nikola Tesla wrote that this voice was that of a man calling out his name saying Tesla 123 over and over again, before the signal cut out entirely. Many researchers speculate that this signal could have been nothing more than background radiation misinterpreted, and could have been caused by a solar wind of the sun. However, many believe that perhaps something far more creepy could have been going on in the background. No explanation for this strange occurrence has been provided, and still many more speculate that perhaps Nikola Tesla made contact with something not quite human, ranging from extraterrestrials to time travellers. Various theories have been put forward on trying to discover the route of Nikola Tesla's first received broadcasts. So what do you make of this interesting photograph? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.